die vertical and uh, it is six foot five in height. I'm five foot two, so you can kind of see a comparison here. 54 inches in diameter. And now this chamber is perfect for somebody that doesn't have a lot of space in their home or even a doctor's clinic, you know, that might maybe limited on space. Uh, and also I'll show you on the zipper around the side there, but it has an easy entrance. And I'm going to go through uh, kind of the front and what all these different um, pieces are here. So we have the external pressure gauge here. This one is the internal pressure gauge. So you're going to be able to, you know, see your pressure uh, inside, uh, really valuable, especially if you're treating alone. Um, and then here is uh, where we attach the oxygen concentrator. You're going to get this little auxiliary valve here, pack it with the chamber, and you get this little piece here. We're just going to pop this right on here, and then this is your uh, hose. This would attach directly to the oxygen concentrator. On the end here, this green piece is the Christmas tree. You're just putting it right inside of the uh, hose attaching this to the oxygen concentrator. And then we're just popping the hose right on the end here. And then when you're inside, you'll attach either your mask or your nasal cannula on the other side. And you can uh, wear that in there. One thing to keep in mind with the oxygen concentrator, it is not required to make the hyperbaric chamber work. Most people choose to add the supplemental oxygen it just is uh, going to increase the benefits by breathing that 95% uh, medical grade oxygen. And then here, this is a pressure relief valve. So uh, once you hit the maximum pressure, it's going to release air here. This is going to be your uh, valve here to deflate the chamber. I'm gonna uh, open it up here, you can kind of see. And then if you can kind of see close here, there's a little gray line and a gray dot. So that's how you know when it, it's closed. Obviously, you need to have this closed to inflate the hyperbaric chamber and then open that up when you want to deflate it there. And then you have a window here and you have a window up top. Uh, one of the nice things about having the window up top is it's going to let more light in. This is a great chamber for somebody that might feel a little uh, claustrophobia. Uh, you know, laying down can sometimes make people, you know, a little bit more uneasy if they are, have claustrophobia tendency. So sitting up is a huge value in this particular chamber here. You can see a really nice big opening for the zipper, great for uh, you know, giving you a, a large space to enter the chamber. And then you're just stepping in right here. We've got the four buckle system. And what the buckles are designed to do is uh, take pressure off of the zipper. So then uh, that'll extend the life of your zipper and help the chamber to, you know, last and keep it working, you know, a long time for you. And then here we have the uh, two compressors. I'm going to show you around the back here the fill valves uh, here in just a moment, but we don't have the compressors on. I want to turn them on so you can kind of see, you know, what the noise level is. I know people are often uh, asking if a hyperbaric chamber is loud. One of the uh, nice things about all of the Summit to Sea chambers is it's a two zipper system and then the buckles. I know I've mentioned before about the buckles, but this is going to take pressure off of the zippers, helping the zippers to last longer. So you're just pinching this little uh, silver here and then, you know, put, connecting it here again when you're I'm doing it up. So nice and easy. This is the external zipper here. And then we have the internal zipper. This is going to be the airtight zipper here. And so nice and easy. 
you've got a really large space or opening, I should say, to enter the hyperbaric chamber here, which is great. Um, and so we're going to go inside and take a peek. Okay, so we have two fill valves on this chamber here, and then we have an extra port. And um, what's nice on the two fill valves is you're going to have plenty of fresh air that's circulating in the chamber. If, say, one of your compressors ended up not working, you still have a second compressor with uh, plenty of uh, oxygen into the hyperbaric chamber. I'm going to show you how to uh, disconnect. Uh, so one nice thing with this chamber when you disconnect, you'll hear the actual oxygen coming out. So it's nice that you know that uh, because you want it to be connected properly, especially if you're using it by yourself before you get into the chamber. So it would not, you know, inflate if you didn't have this connected properly. So you're pushing in the gray valve and just attaching it there.